<laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm ugly as shit today. As you guys see, I'm in my room playing Grand Theft Auto with my lovely assistant, you know, like always. But I'm in the middle of updating my old PlayStation 4. Oops, dropped it. So this is what I'm doing. Right now, all I'm doing is taking my old PlayStation 4. Here you go. This is PlayStation 4. My old burned out PlayStation 4. As you guys see, I got a hard drive already in it. You guys will need a hard drive. I'm sorry, you guys will need this kind of hard drive. It's going to be the 2.5. It's going to be a trill. There you go. As you guys going to see, this is for a laptop, actually. You guys see the back of the box. I don't know if it's focused or not. And you will need to be able to access the back of the PlayStation. There's going to be a slot. If it's facing you, it's going to be on the left back side. It's going to be an L shape. You're just going to slide it off like that. Comes off easy as hell. You're going to need a tool, but me, I'm right now using a power tool. Guys, do not use a power tool. The only reason why I'm using it is because I bought it. Okay? So, when you guys open the back up, it's going to be a screw. And it's going to have the symbols of the PlayStation buttons on it. You know, the normal X, circle, square box, triangle stuff, you know. But, as you guys see, I'm using this power tool, and I'm going to do it slow. I'm not going to show me doing it, but I want to actually see for myself what I'm doing. So, I'm going to do it nice and slow. No unnecessary pressure. Is that what? Nah, it's a video. Nah. Mm mm. Nah, it ain't live. So, as you guys see, I just took the back out. There you go. You can see clean into it. As you guys see, what I'm doing is I'm just checking the prongs in it. Make sure nothing's damaged. It's not damaged because, like I said, I just bought it like not even last year. So this is the hard drive that I took out. This is the actual face, the casing, as you guys would say. Like I said, use your tool about this small. Don't use a power drill. So I'm gonna do it nice and gentle. And for all you guys that don't really care because it's materialistic stuff, go crazy. Jailbreak it if you want to. But I went the route to where I was supposed to. And like I'm going to tell you, before opening the other package, don't touch this metal disket. You're going to cause problems for yourself. You're going to feel retarded. So you guys see I'm still gonna open this let me see if I can pull it straight out nope can't pull it out yet like I said guys be careful with stripping screws any unnecessary pressure anything like that but with the old broken fried out hard drive you ain't got to care for real. It's trash for unless you can refurbish it. If you're that tech savvy, go ahead. I plan on doing that later on, though. So I'm going to take that out. Then, while, like I said, I'm on Grand Theft Auto at the same time. So I'm going to move around that way. I don't lag out or just get kicked for being idle. Alright, 
almost lost the screw, but there we go. So that's the removal of the old hard drive right here. So I'm gonna place this off to the side because like I said, I plan on doing some odd stuff with it. So I'm gonna take the new box. I'm gonna show you guys, this is the old one. This is the new one. It's fresh, still sealed. As you guys see the invisible little wrapping on the light, there you go. Brand new. So, what I'm gonna do is grab this little shank here. This little tool here. I'm gonna open this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to discontinue the video once I put the hard drive in and I'm going to put a link in the description going back and showing you guys how to install it. Guys, see the new one straight out the box. So it's an unboxing at the same time. And it's still in the plastic, 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 plastic. I really want to do this for gloves, but I don't care at this moment. Fresh. Busted open. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm going to slide it up out of there. So you're going to see the four slots on each, or two slots on each side. There you go. Letting you know you can install it. So I'm going to grab that same crater. The same little mount. And I'm going to place it in the same way. With this disc it facing up again. With those little boards facing out. And like I said guys, be careful. Because now you're playing with the brand new drive. Don't touch the metal disc it. Don't do none of that weirdness. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to properly mount it to where it catches it again thread it real fast don't use a power drill y'all so what I'm gonna do is Then I'm gonna do one more screw because apparently I don't wear out my washer from so many times taking it in and out, messing around trying to do other shit. Beating people out there like that. So, 
Oh, no. I'm almost done. I'm on both sides. Almost done. So last screw. So that's mounting it good. All right, well, we gotta kick out the party apparently by network errors. I ain't caring. So, as you guys see, this is the new one. I'll show you guys again new one, old one, new one, old one. So what I'm going to do is gently push the hard drive in. And then just put that L-shaped little plastic piece back on. There you go. Didn't have to bust the top open. Same PlayStation. Turn the camera around that way, guys. Can see I'm on PlayStation again. Move around a little bit. That way, you guys see my character. So that's that first video of how to actually insert that hard drive back into the PlayStation.